Hello and welcome to Wandering Wanda. I'm Ariel and this is Walter. Today we are going to do something very simple. I like to actually go out and go to Smith's, Ralph's, or even Costco sells these. This one is a whole chicken. This one's the garlic herb, which is the one I like. We just cut it up and then microwave it for one minute as soon as I cut it up. So I'll show you how I cut it up. But in the meantime, I was at Smith's about a month ago and I didn't quite realize that I talk to myself when I'm grocery shopping. So I was in front of the corn and I was talking to myself saying, I think I already have corn in the refrigerator. And this little Chinese lady came up to me and said, Oh, how do you cook your corn? And I told her, I chuck it, get all the leaves out, wash it, get all the little hairs out. And then I boil it for about 15, 20 minutes. And she said, Oh, easy way to do it is put it in the microwave four minutes, four minutes, four minutes each. So if you're only doing one, it's four minutes. If you're doing two, eight minutes. And if you're doing three, 12 minutes. There you go. So we're just gonna put this in the microwave, no chucking, no oil, no water, just straight into the microwave. <coughs> microwave, cook by time, 12 minutes. And you cook it on high, and that's it. All right, while that is cooking, this is how I cut up the chicken. So you are gonna need a plastic bag, grocery bag, for your bones. I take the chicken out. Rip the leg and thigh out. Put it aside. The same on the other side, just rip it out. Take any bones that you don't want to eat out. The wings, again, just rip it out with your hands. Okay, now the breast part, you just tear into the middle and then rip the meat off the breastbone. Just rip the meat out of the breastbone. That's simple. And then there's a wishbone. Where's the wishbone? Oh, I tore up the wishbone already. Oh, I tore up the wishbone. The rest of this is just bone. So I just throw it out. Okay, at the bottom of this plastic, there is some liquids and just pour it over the chicken and then throw the bag away. And we leave the bag out on the counter, so when we're done eating, we just throw the bones in the bag. Thank you, honey. All right, make sure you have some mitts because it is steaming hot. Twelve minutes, four minutes each. Ok, 
Okay, take one of your corn. Now at the the kernel, what is this? The stem, the stem end, cut down about an inch or half, about three quarters of an inch down. Just like that. Okay. Now, all you need to do is squeeze. Squeeze. Ow, ow, ow. Ah. Look at that. It takes all the little hairy things off. Perfect. Isn't that great? Isn't that amazing? And then Walter's going to butter it. So three quarters or an inch down. Let's cut it off and then squeeze at the top part. And the corn just pops out. And then most of that hair stuff comes along with it. It's, wow, wow, it's wonderful. It's just hot. So again, cut. And squeeze. Oh. Why don't we cut that little piece off there? There's a little spoiled spot there. Yeah, it's okay. Let's we'll just cut it we'll off. Just cut it off. But no hairs. Simple, easy. The easiest way for a corn on the cob we've ever seen. Yeah, isn't this fabulous? Oh. And then we don't use salt. Uh, it's a personal choice. We just put butter on it and eat it that way. It's wonderful, sweet corn. So I just butter it while it's still hot. I find it easy sometimes to put the little ends in. And we do use real butter. Unsalted. Unsalted butter. Which is actually sweeter than salted yeah. butter. It, make, it makes the corn taste very sweet. Enhances the sweetness of the sweet corn. Okay, now back to the chicken. Just zap it in the microwave for about a minute to a minute and a half. Soy sauce? Uh, yeah. Low sodium soy sauce. Okay, and that's essentially our dinner. Prepared chicken already from the grocery store, corn, and over rice. That's it. Thank you for watching. Bye. Does Instapino exist yet?